वेलकम डियर स्टूडेंट माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर डी के पाटिल डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री चांगूकाना ठाकुर आर्ट्स कॉमर्स सायन्स कॉलेज न्यू पनवेल ऑटोनॉमस स्टूडेंट्स ऐज वी लर्निंग एस वाय बी एस सी एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री दैट इज पेपर थ्री एंड इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न अबाउट सम बेसिक्स ऑफ एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री इट्स डेफिनेशन एंड इट्स इम्पॉर्टन्स सो इन दी टूडेज लेक्चर दैट इज इन द लास्ट लेक्चर वी लर्न वॉट इज एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री सो एनालिटिकल केमिस्ट्री इज बेसिकली वॉट इट इज द सायन्स ऑफ ऑप्टेनिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड कम्युनिकेटिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर कंपोजिशन ऑफ द मैटर एंड वी ऑल्सो लर्न इन दैट लेक्चर दैट इट डील्स विद द कैरेक्टराइजेशन आइडेंटिफिकेशन एंड इस्टिमेशन ऑफ द वेरियस कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द सैम्पल एंड वी देर वी लर्न दैट इट इज नॉट लिमिटेड फॉर द ब्रांच ऑफ केमिस्ट्री बट इट इज ऑल्सो कवर्स एट सम अदर ब्रांचेस लाइक बायोफिजिक्स एंड बायो केमिस्ट्री सो इन दी टूडेज आवर लेक्चर Uh, we will learn uh, the classification of the chemical analysis so chemical analysis is broadly classified into the two types that is first one based on the nature of information required and based on the size of sample that you are using for the analysis so based on the nature of information required that analysis again classified into the four types first one is what that is approximate analysis second one partial analysis third one trace analysis and fourth one the complete analysis now we have to learn each uh, type of analysis in detail so students see what is proximate analysis i highlight them there what is proximate analysis it involve the elemental determination of elemental composition of sample and for that purpose i have given the example of coal you see coal that we all of know what is coal it is a source of energy it is a natural uh, resource of energy so whenever we are doing the uh, proximate analysis of coal uh, there we have to determine what that is the chemical composition of coal now students see in the uh, proximate analysis uh, when we are performing proximate analysis various parameters we have to study there first one that is a moisture so we have to study that is how much amount of moisture is present in the given sample or analyte second factor that is a volatility or volatile compounds either there is any volatile compounds are present in the given sample third one the ash content ash content it means what it involve generally related uh, to the presence of different kind of uh, impurities in the uh, given sample just like uh, the metals non metals like the silicon or other uh, non uh, non metals may be uh, present there and fixed carbon fixed carbon it means what the amount of carbon that is unburned in the given sample so these various uh, parameters we have to study under the proximate analysis now the next uh, type of analysis that is a partial analysis the name itself indicate you what is a partial analysis partial means it involve the determination of only one component of the sample or it may involve the determination of limited number of components of your sample i have given the example of geological and metallurgical analysis so what is in geological or metallurgical analysis where whenever you are performing that analysis you have to determine the percentage of metal present in your sample it means that you are studying only o1 or you are uh, required to find out only one uh, component from your sample hence such kind of analysis where you have to determine limited number of uh, components present in your sample then that is known as what the partial analysis next one type is the trace analysis trace means this kind of analysis which involve the determination of very very small amount of uh, substances present in your sample for example uh, and this trace analysis is generally related to the determination of uh, different kind of impurities present in the given sample and this trace analysis is very important in uh, in the uh, kind of fields uh, like the industrial area or firm area where we have to find out the impurities in a very very small percentage so such uh, this trace analysis is very important in such areas now the next uh, type of analysis the complete analysis complete analysis means what that is this kind of analysis which involve or which give you the detailed information of your sample so students we learn these are the four type of analysis based on the nature of information that we required 
now see uh, the another main type of chemical analysis that is based on the size of sample that we are using so see the on the basis of uh, size of sample we are using for the analysis the analysis is classified into the three types that one was is first one micro analysis second one same micro analysis and third one that is the micro analysis okay now see what is the uh, macro analysis macro analysis means what this is kind of analysis in which the size of sample is more than 100 mg or more than 0.1 gram semi micro analysis means what this is the in which the size of sample which is used for the analysis is is between 10 mg to 100 mg and last one type of analysis is the micro analysis micro analysis means this is the type this is the uh, you know the analysis where the size of sample is less than 10 milligram okay so these are what the three types of analysis based on the size of sample we are using for the analysis so students see what is the today's uh, takeaway of our lecture we learn the classification of chemical analysis and there we learn that on the basis uh, that is uh, chemical analysis has been classified into two types based on the size of information based on the na nature of information required there again the three types we learn uh, four types we learn that is approximate analysis partial analysis trace analysis and complete analysis student the second type of uh, analysis that is based on the size of sample we are using and we learn that it is classified into what that is the three types that is what are these yes correct that is the macro analysis semi micro analysis and micro analysis so student today uh, this is the end of our uh, video in the coming videos we will see the classification of the methods of analysis thank you